right, what we're looking at here now is the law of cosines. I've written it up here. Uh, this is c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab times cos theta. These are all the lowercase letters, which correspond to the side lengths. Um, and the capital letters uh, would be the angles. Uh, and the lowercase c corresponds to the side opposite the angle c. Angle a is opposite side a, and so on. Uh, we could also rewrite this another way. We could, uh, we could write this, uh, I guess, three different ways. We could write it maybe a squared is equal to c squared plus b squared minus 2cb cos theta, right? And similarly, you could write it to solve for b squared, um, where cos theta is just the angle. Um, for In this case, if we're looking for side C, the angle would be the angle capital C. If we're looking for side little a, the angle we're looking at would be the angle for capital A. Uh, and where, you know, we can just write, if you guys really want, you can say b squared is equal to a squared plus c squared minus 2ac times cosine of theta. And it got a little messy, but... I think you get the point. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and solve this. Uh, we want to do an example. So let's make some, uh, let's put in some values here for this angle C and maybe these two side lengths on both sides of it. So if we do that, uh, we'll say that maybe, here we can do this in red. We'll say that this angle is 60 degrees and we'll say that this side length is 10 units, 10 meters if you want, or just units, and this is 5 units. Alright, so what we want to do is we'll say that c squared, we're looking for this uh, this side, right? We want to we want to solve for this side. Um, so c squared is equal to a squared, well this was 5 squared plus b squared, opposite the angle b we have 10 squared minus 2 times a times b, which was 10, times cosine of 60 degrees. Okay, so c squared is equal to 25 plus 100, minus this will be 2 times 5, this is 10 times 10, this is 100 times cosine of 60, which is times 0 0.5. If you just type that in your calculator, you've got cosine 60 is equal to 0 0.5 if you're in degrees. So now what we want to do, we have 125 minus 50, so we can just write that. So we have c squared is equal to 125 minus 50, and c squared is then equal to 75. And the last step is we take the square root of this, so we get c is equal to, this is about 8.66, right? So we can write that here. here. We'll just erase that now. So now we know the side c, uh, we need to go back to the pen. Side c is equal to 8.66. So that's how you use the cosine law. Uh, it, you, it's useful when you have one angle and both sides on, both of the lengths on each side of it. Um, if you don't have this uh, this particular configuration, go back and look at the sine law, uh, which we had, just for your reference, was sine A over A is equal to sine B over B, which is also equal to sine C over C, um, but you can also use this to calculate any more unknowns.